good afternoon again. Instead, good evening. Um, we wait for five minutes for the rest to join. Uh,
Okay, so good evening to all of you. I believe already in uh, 31 should be. Okay, so um, we have, I mean, we have tutorial one. Um, yeah, basically, uh, I mean, how we actually conduct the tutorial is that uh, I will, I will, I will, I will share my screen and then um, read the tutorial questions. Um, try to ask someone to answer. If uh, not able to answer, it's fine because this is not a test anyway. Uh, but anyhow, uh, I hope that you all would be uh, mature enough uh, to to um try to look into the solutions. Uh, uh, at least at least you study later on. Uh, okay, because tutorial is meant to be is meant to um you know uh, sometimes the uh lectures may not be may not may not able to deliver the knowledge um as per the tutorial uh, okay sometimes uh, working on the tutorial might help a bit uh, okay so uh do uh, this is the tutorial one so um, yeah okay but for tutorial one we don't have any calculations uh, basically um i believe most of the things you can retrieve from your um, lecture notes. Uh, in my opinion, uh, uh, because this one is not. Um, I mean, um, sometimes uh, it's important for you to familiar with your, with your lecture notes. Uh, uh yeah, it's okay. Never mind. Okay. Um, let's see the first questions. Uh, uh, introductions to multimedia. Basically, the tutorial would be matched to the chapters, lah. Okay, for example, chapter one, two, and three would be matched to your slippers. Okay. Um, first one, use your own words. Define what is multimedia. Uh, this is very simple and direct. Um, basically, uh, you can find this in your, in your, in your uh, lecture notes as well. So, perhaps um, anyone can answer these questions. You can either share your screen or put it in the chat box. Um, I believe uh, the first one, I mean, uh, sort of, I mean, non-calculation based tutorial might be a bit boring, la, okay? And it's okay. Uh, any, anyone wish to answer these questions? Perhaps you can copy and paste, put it in the chat box, or either way you can share your screen. Okay, let me check the lucky one. Uh. Mm. Okay, Wei Hong Ng, is it possible for you to um, answer these questions? Maybe you want to share your screen, I can stop sharing. Wei Hong? Okay, multimedia is the field concerned with the computer control integrated. Da, 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 Moving image, animation, and other multimedia field. Um, sometimes, uh, um, yeah, uh, anyhow, uh, I mean, this is a uh, open or open end uh, questions, uh, okay. But uh, some tips and tricks, uh, uh whenever, whenever, uh, the you have a uh, questions, I mean, be realistic, lah. Anyhow, uh, I mean, at the end of the day, you all still want to score in this course, right? Okay. Uh, of course, lah. The main purpose is to gain knowledge, lah. But at the end of the day, uh, you all still wish to excel in this course, scoring an A, right? So always remember to answer the question according to the mark, okay? If the marks given is only two marks, uh, uh, and you found the keywords like define, state, uh, yeah, something like this, uh, uh, you suppose the answer that the, the marks given will be around one or two marks only, okay? So for this kind of, uh, this kind of questions, uh, perhaps you can give uh, the answer like what Wei Hong gave, uh, okay? Should be okay. But let's say if uh, the question asks for, I mean, the marks allocate for the question is around five or six marks uh, or maybe more, then you would, uh, you you may want to evaluate, evaluate it for further, elaborate this further. So per perhaps you can uh, put in the basic definitions for multimedia, whereby multi is referring to multiple and media is medium and then, uh, not only putting the uh, uh, different medium together, 
uh, but also integrate uh, integration of medium different medium in a unique way something like that and also uh, multimedia there are five basic elements in the multimedia as provided by the as provided by the uh, answer from Wei Hong so text graphic moving images or video animation and audio this would be the five basic elements okay so um in your lecture notes is always important to identify some some of the i mean i'm not sure if you all know how to identify but then i believe uh, for all the courses uh, you would be able to identify some um, key content but some other would be sort of supplement data okay so basically um the linear non-linear the uh, five basic element the definition for multimedia uh, the hyper uh, media and multimedia sans serif and serif those are um, sort of important informations within chapter one okay so um yeah so it's important for you to identify uh, i mean at least know uh, what, what 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 are there uh, means uh, the knowledge behind how to justify and correlate this and that okay so for this one uh, uh, yeah the answer is correct but perhaps um in tutorial i i will i will give answer which is more comprehensive la. okay so one moment uh, let me share my screen Okay, so use your own word, define what is multimedia. Um, I believe the very first thing multimedia is give, I mean, uh, to separate it like multi and media, which whereas multi is multiple and media is medium. Okay, so multimedia, however, is not simply just putting different medium to media together, rather it focuses on the, uh, more on the integration of them so that it's enable rich interaction among them as well as between media and human being. So this would be the very, a core idea of multimedia. I mean, uh, why multimedia is being introduced to human being and etc. Because the main purpose is to uh, engage our senses. Okay, no matter eye, ear, nose, and etc. All the senses we want to engage the senses and enrich the interaction between them. So that is why we have uh, one two uh, D movie, black and white, and then with color, and then later on with audio, and then later on. Uh, with 3D and also 4D and 5D as well. Okay, so that is uh, meant to be uh, make it more and more real to the to the person. Uh, okay, whoever it is. So multimedia is the media that use simple form of information content and information process to inform and entertain the user. Sometimes, uh, I mean, depends on the length. I mean, the marks allocate. If uh, the marks allocate for this question is uh, maybe five or six marks. Perhaps you can consider to put in what is the core features in a multimedia in the general terms. Okay, for example, the acquisitions, the, the information, uh, data acquisition, the interface, the operation system, the networking and etc. Those are, are core, core objective or the core features uh, which is essential in the multimedia, no matter it is referring to image, audio, or video, okay? All, all, all those are very essential. So the combination of the multimedia, such as text, audio, graphic, video, and animation, makes the communication more structured and understandable to the user. This is what Wei Hong uh, gave just now. Multimedia is the media that is used multiple form, uh, whereas this is the definition of uh, multiple form uh, of information contained. Information content would be um, synonym for media. Lah. And information process such as text, audio, graphic, video, animations to make the communication more structured and understandable to the user. So newspaper is a medium of communication in the form of text, while TV broadcasting is a medium, another medium of communications in the form of audio and video. If all these medium combined will create multimedia. <clears throat> so as you can see, uh, the uh, First of all, you give the definitions in a very simplest way. Uh, perhaps you can consider to define multi multimedia separate into two different words, which is multiple and medium. And then you give a general, <clears throat> give a general uh, definition. 
uh, or description what is multimedia and then followed by example okay let's say this uh, question require i mean allocate six marks lah, okay then perhaps you can separate in this in such a way applicable to all other questions okay the second one list and describe multimedia elements determine uh, which elements require the highest computer computing uh, performance let me check the original list and describe multimedia. okay this question is um quite direct uh, uh list and describe the multimedia elements but of course uh, uh i hope when when the questions uh comes to you uh, multimedia elements so you should know roughly i mean where you get the answer for example you uh we already learned until chapter three right so i believe all wouldn't expect the answer from chapter three or chapter two right so because this is uh, asking multimedia element and chapter one is about introduction to multimedia so basically you should scope down your um info i mean where you want to retrieve the information perhaps only chapter one nah. okay and when we talk about elements uh, so it will be uh regard i mean uh, with regards to the five basic elements which is the text audio image uh video and also uh, animations okay and determine which uh, element require the highest computer performance i believe this question is very straightforward la. should be no issue la. okay um one moment uh. okay chai siu is it chai siu chia chai siu yeah sorry if, if i pronounce your name wrongly uh yeah you may uh do you want to share your screen or you can put the answer i think you need to share your screen right because this may require table one moment now. yeah you, you can share your screen whenever you're ready oh okay okay you all always find a way not to share your screen all right um text basic step towards development of multimedia includes formatted and and da, 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 image da, 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 da. audio video okay let me check back the question Okay, list and describe the amount of determination and highest performance. Okay. Include speech. Oh, that's all your answer, is it? Anything so top up? I believe no one. Okay. So basically, yeah, uh, uh list and describe. Uh yeah, you did you did list down and describe, uh, but then you did not. I mentioned which one required the highest computer performance uh, okay so basically uh you will not get this mark uh, okay uh okay we have five different uh basic elements which is text image audio video and animations and yeah the description can be get from the from the uh lecture notes uh, but anyhow i think without the lecture notes you're still able to define uh, okay uh it's impossible you don't know what this image right so uh yeah basic a uh, basic step towards development of multimedia presentation include formatted and formatted text uh such as string of characters image computer generated graphic or digital image or picture from a camera and so on uh. okay so uh the computer performance uh remember always remember to read the question carefully okay uh based on my previous experience uh, especially the exam during the final examinations uh, yeah uh, we only have one final examination we don't have mid test so uh during the final examination i i mean previous semester or the or the yeah some uh previous one uh, okay uh found that some student they miss out some part of the answer for example you have uh number two two a two b two c perhaps uh, he or she forget to see something like that and did not answer the entire questions so uh, he or she only aware when we check the examination state okay uh, when he or she supply uh, uh, submit because previous semester we submit in uh, I mean via online right so uh, for this one uh, and please do uh, read the question carefully sometimes the question uh, 
request or demand more than one answer, although it is in one sentence. For example, this list and describe. If you only list but you did not describe, uh, perhaps you will lose all the mark uh, under the description. Uh. And for this one, uh, uh, if you did not give the performance, uh, then perhaps you don't have this mark. Uh. Okay. So um, it's very simple and direct. I think whatever uh, uh, whatever Chai Siu gave is correct. Uh, just that uh, you need to top up this one. Uh, if let's say the, there is no uh, there is no solid answer for the questions, so perhaps you can estimate. Uh, okay, for example, this one image can be very very small and image can be very very large. Depends on the application. So perhaps you can put it moderate and too high. You know the answer is quite bad uh, because the range uh, of the answer is very. Um, no, not well defined uh, uh, for this question, but for sure the text would be low. Uh. Anyhow, uh, if you have a long thesis without any uh, figure or graphic uh, or images, uh, uh, the file size is very uh, small only. Okay, so perhaps uh, it's easy to score. Uh, okay, not a big deal. Okay, let's look for the third question. Describe the characteristic of linear and non-linear multimedia. Give an example for each to elaborate. Okay, so this one is very straightforward. Uh, linear and non-linear and give example. Okay. Mm. Share one. Can you share your screen or I think you will share your screen. Uh, you can put your answer in the chat box. Share one. Oh, okay. Linear multimedia. Non-linear. Video games, a movie or a book. Let me think. Uh, video games. Okay. Okay. Uh, so this one is very um, direct. Uh, I think this this is very very simple. Okay. Describe the characteristic uh, of linear and non-linear multimedia. Give an example. Uh, so you just basically everything is in the lecture notes now. Okay. Uh, if you go through the lecture notes, uh, somehow. Yeah, you, you, you can know the answer uh, very direct. So uh, linear is like um, a book. You have to study from the, I mean, the, the conventional book. Uh, you have to study from the very first page until the very last page. So you uh, so that you can understand what the uh, books is talking about, the content and etc. So all these kind uh, of mediums uh, which require you read from the first to the uh, last or the starting to the ending so perhaps all this would be uh, condition, uh, characterized as the linear multimedia and for non-linear multimedia it is uh, you don't have a specific sequence or specific arrangement to study the to study the medium uh, perhaps it's also offer interactions interaction would be the core value like, for non-linear multimedia um, the cliche example would be when you go to online, you search for uh, uh, Thai UC and then prompt out the first one, you know, all, all are hyperlink. So you click on it and you prompt out another page uh, or, or another window so you can read the relevant information. So all these are considered as um, uh, non-linear media because you don't need to read from start to end. Uh, yeah, so um, perhaps depends, again, it uh, depends on the Depends on the uh, marks given. Uh, uh, if the marks given is very, I mean, very little, uh, so perhaps you don't need to uh, write in very lengthy. Uh. For example, only four marks, uh, perhaps one marks for definition, I mean, one for linear, one for nonlinear, and another one for uh, example. Okay. So, uh, state the difference between multimedia and hypermedia. Mm. Okay, this is simple as well. But I, I think in lecture, I did not mention much about hypermedia. Okay, Brenda, Brenda.
Okay, good. One moment. You may share whenever you're ready. Can you zoom in a bit? Um, it's oh. What question is it? Uh? One moment, uh, let me check back. Uh. I'm out and hyper. Okay, okay. Uh, multi have oh, okay okay it's a bit small to me a require viewer da, 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 contain hyperlink okay okay thank you for your answer uh and yet very short uh, okay uh let me share my screen Okay, uh, the difference of uh, the terms multimedia is associated with the presentation of media such as image, graphic, basically just mentioned back the five basic elements. Lah, okay, and hypermedia is the use of advanced or hypertext. I believe these two are the uh, from lecture notes lah, and same as what uh, Brenda gave me. So, um, whenever the whenever the question asks for state the difference or compare, so it's good for you to put it in the uh, in the in a table like this lah. okay uh, in examination uh, i don't mind you all you all use uh what whatever method to present your answer if you want to use bullet points fine if you want to do table it's fine if you want to draw something relevant it's fine okay uh it depends now okay uh sometimes put it in the point form would be would be better lah, okay um but you, if you want to write in paragraph, it's fine as well. Just that if it is in bullet point, it's easier for me to uh, track the answer. Okay, so uh, multimedia and hypermedia. So basically, integration of text, graphics, sound, animation, and digi uh, digital video using computer. It is an application-oriented technology. Example would be business presentation, you know, many others. Huh? Multimedia operate various uh, media types. But in hypermedia, it is... Let me finish hype multimedia first. So it can be uh, can be in two form presentation linear and nonlinear. So this is um <clears throat> this is uh, basically uh, the uh, what you learned in the previous uh, I mean in chapter one. Uh. So linear multimedia it can include the media with linear content progress and nonlinear multimedia with nonlinear multimedia system. The media are interacting. Interacting would be the important keywords uh, for non non uh, linear multimedia. So multimedia require a peripheral de device to show the result or output and result in some cost. Okay, and hypermedia is the compilation of the information using media in an interconnected manner and extension to hypertext providing multimedia facility. So it used the text, data, audio, um, video elements uh, would be something, I mean, all those five elements in the multimedia could be found in hypermedia as well. So hypermedia is a source of linking various media files. So hypermedia is an application of multimedia with non-linear context. So uh, usually it don't has any linear. In hypermedia, it, uh, the linear media in hypermedia is not exist. Lah, okay. Hypermedia is developed by the help of the programming tools or software. Okay. So the basic example would be the World Wide Web or the internet. Lah, okay. Very simple and direct. So list the component in multimedia system and brief discuss on each of their function. So I believe this one, I do explain very details, uh, uh, not just the main component, but also uh, what software and this and that. Okay, so question five. Okay, um, Liang Hong.
Do you want to share your screen or put it in the chat box? Okay, capture device generate. Okay, I think the, uh, this one quite direct. Uh. So uh, basically, yeah, list the component in a multimedia system and briefly discuss on each of their functions. So uh, again, uh, please uh, uh, look into the marks given. Uh, don't waste your, don't, don't, do not waste your time uh, in the question where you give lengthy answer, but in fact, only one or two marks, uh, okay? The following component, hardware and software, are required with their functionality for the multimedia system. So basically, um, first of all, you need to capture, lah, okay? No matter it is audio, image, or video, you still need to capture device and followed by storage device. After it once, I mean, immediate after you capture audio, image, or video, you will need to store it in the device. After you store it in the device, so only then you can uh, start to process it and then, yeah, and the later on stage. Huh? Okay. So after uh, capture device, uh, capture device, you could have uh, video camera, video cassette, and etc. Uh, storage device, TV room, uh, communications. Hey, why this one not complete then? Okay, um, later on I, I, I upload a, the, the, a new one. Communication network is to communicate between the device. Um, for example, you want to transfer your file using LAN cable to your computer, um, or maybe store it at a, a cloud, uh, Wi-Fi and whatsoever. And computer system will be workstation uh, to process, process this, lah, okay? So basically, um, the answer provider here is not so accurate, I would say. Okay, list the component. First of all, you need to list down everything and then briefly discuss. Uh, when it asks for discuss, uh, so you need to mention the functionality and then later on provide example. Okay, so this one, uh, I will upload the answer later on. Okay, so question six. Distinguish between the following media and give an example of each category, capture versus synthesis, restrict read versus continuous. Okay. Let me check. Uh, Yu Yang, Yu Yang Chua. Um, can you zoom in? Okay, capture media and synthesis media. Refer to the time. Okay, uh, can... Can I know uh, when uh, when will we need the synthesis media? We, we know what is capture media, what is synthesis media, right? What is discrete and what is continuous, right? Uh, but if let's say I will ask when we need synthesis media, uh, why we don't capture it rather than synthesis it. <laughs> it's okay. Uh, yeah, if you want to type in the chat box, it's, uh, if you want to type in your words file, it's fine. 
else you want to put in the chat box, you find it. Um, sometimes, uh, uh, yeah, I, I, think, I think it's good making effect. Mm, making effect. Okay, la, okay, la, acceptable, la, uh, but not a strong answer. La, okay. Basically, uh, uh, capture media is uh, the, the answer, you, and, and nevertheless, the answer you provide uh, it, uh, are all correct. La, okay, no issue with that. Um, just that sometimes uh, we have to we have to know the motive behind like, okay um, capture device or uh, capture media and also synthesis media capture is as what your answer uh, remark over there uh, it is more on recording something from real world but synthesis would be something uh, which is not from the real world anything synthesis uh, defect defect is a method that you encrypt something within an image or encrypt something uh, within audio that is called deep fact uh, deep fact d e p f a k e so uh, this is some uh, people use this type of uh, techniques uh, to encrypt the uh, information within a, a normal image okay so uh, or sometimes uh, you all like to uh, uh, i think you all quite familiar with deep learning right uh, or maybe the words, at least uh, the words deep learning, right? So deep learning is to, um, let's say you have a uh, uh, thousand images of tiger, thousand images of lion, thousand images of monkey, and then you train the uh, deep learning architecture. After training, then you want to characterize it. But sometimes uh, with one change of pixel, uh, only one or two change of pixel, you know, uh, out of the entire image, uh, let's say the image is like a uh, thousand times thousand, uh, I mean, 1000 times 1000, the resolution, uh, okay? So if, let's say you change a specific um, pixel within, within the uh, image, uh, it can characterize, for example, your architecture is very successful. After you train using tiger, lion, and monkey, uh, you can get the accuracy like maybe up to 98%. But sometimes uh, by using the, um, uh, what we call the pixel, there is another term, uh, specific terms for this one. Uh, you change or amend a specific pixel in the important area with, you know, high gamma area. Then after that, uh, the entire accuracy would be dropped to maybe approaching zero. Or sometimes it will characterize it as a cat, something like that. Uh, that but but the the entire image uh, did not change much just that a change of one or two pixel because human eye cannot really identify a, a minor change in one or two pixel if you have you know a uh, thousand uh time thousand uh pixel if you have maybe 500 to 1000 uh pixel already changed to another pixel then that would be very obvious lah. we can see oh why 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 this image is something different uh. but we, with our human eye we cannot uh, really identify a minor minor change uh, in especially in one or two pixel uh. okay so this would be the synthetic uh, media especially used uh, people want to use this to change i mean to defect something else and also sometimes uh, the synthetic data is meant for simulation purposes for example you will have a mathematic model you want to model something Let's say you want to model the um, uh, gland, the, the, the tubule, the tubule in uh, maybe any cancer. So you build the mathematic equations and you can use the synthetic data to illustrate the modulations. So basically the synthetic data is meant to aid the entire uh, understanding, entire uh, comprehensions of the algorithm of the mathematical modeling. So that is why we have synthetic data. And also, uh, making effect is also one of the contributions. Uh, that is because um, um, to create uh, synthetic noise, synthetic music, you know, the, all those bass, uh, uh, which you create, uh, the, the, all the music, uh, those are synthetic, okay? And also the animations. Uh, animation is not from real world. So you draw it out and you uh, maybe you draw using any software and then you create it to become animation. So that would be the 
very basic, uh, basic, basic application of synthetic medium. Okay, district and uh, continuous would be uh, as what you uh, provide is correct. Uh, but at least you have to know uh, when to use it. Uh, basically, uh, everything you put in here is correct. Just that, you know, sometimes we try to identify from what we learn. We already know this and that, but then we do not know this and that is belong to which cluster. Uh, I mean, and which the learning over there. Okay, thank you for your answer. You may stop your share screen. Okay, the next one, list the five main features uh, that must be provided in system designed to support the integration of multimedia into multimedia presentations. Uh, I think this is very uh, direct, uh, five main features uh, is in the lecture notes as well. Okay, I seldom ask something which is not in the lecture notes. Uh. Um, anyone, question seven? Ka Sing, Ka Sing Wong. You want to share screen or? Are you there, Kasim? It's okay, we proceed. Um, Lok Jing Yao, oh, sorry, Lok Jing Lao. All right. Yes, question seven. Okay. Um, so list the five main features that must be provided in the system designed to support the integration of multimedia into multimedia presentations. So um, basically, uh, the answer is correct. Lah. Okay, um, that must be... Okay, uh, basically list down is also correct. Lah. You don't need to describe actually because the question did not request. So just list the five, okay? So very high processing power, um, capable, uh, actually not really very really high processing power. Lah. Sometimes, did I share my screen? Okay, I do. Not a must, you, I mean, not every time you need the very high processing power. For example, uh, like the presentation at this moment, uh, uh, it, you, you, don't, you don't require high processing power. But sometimes if you want to train deep model, uh, sorry, deep learning model, you want to um, write a lengthy code, uh, then perhaps you may want to have a better processing power, okay, the computer, and when you, Especially when you want to simulate something else, like, like you want to simulate your antenna design, you want to simulate the, uh, especially like for antenna design, like if you want to simulate it, so perhaps you wish you you may need a better uh, a better performance uh, computer, like. else uh, you may need to wait. Like. Okay. Um, basically, uh, usually uh, we need high processing power is dependent on the application. If let's say the application is very light, uh, then don't, you don't really need them. Okay, capable, capable of processing in a large amount of data in real time. File system capable of handling multimedia information. So um, actually this is uh, quite, I mean, core relate to the one we learned just now, which is this one, uh, capture device, you know, storage. Those are the features, uh, but this is the um, uh, component and this is the features. Uh. Okay, I mean, like, Processing power would be the OS, right? The uh, network support would be the communication device, right? More or less. Uh. So file system com capable of handling multimedia information. Um, for sure, uh, if you want to handle video video file, uh, then for sure you need, uh, you, you, your, your computer or your workstation is able to read and write the uh, 
video file, okay, else uh, then it is totally useless. Okay, efficient and high I/O rate device. Um, when we talk about multimedia and sending data here and there, so perhaps we want we want something very uh, faster. Okay, we always uh, ask for faster, better, uh, something like that. Okay, we always ask for more. So that is why efficient and high I/O rate is very important. Also, when you send the data out, uh, maybe you copy and paste something in your USB, and then it takes like only only a very small uh, notepad and it requires uh, maybe five minutes to copy then it would be very frustration okay the input output of uh, output to file subsystem should poses high IO rate that should that support the recording and uh, reading of large data from the storage device this system need to allow a real-time recording as well as playback of data example are fire Fire wire USB 2.0 and so on. Okay, network support high speed or, or bandwidth network is required. The network should support the deliver of large size multimedia file in real time. Um, okay, uh, anyhow, this is depends on your applications. Sometimes, uh, some applications do not need uh, real time application because when we come to real time, uh, it is another case. Uh, for example, um, image processing and real-time image processing is different uh, because when when we talk about image processing uh, you may want to focus more on the quality rather than the time constraint but when you talk about real-time processing uh, perhaps you want to talk i mean focus more or analysis more on the time taken so when we talk about real time, we always, I mean, the time, uh, in the time frequency, the time information is always uh, a crucial data, uh, which will impinge your entire performance. If let's say you can, um, you can have up to 90, 99% of accuracy, but you take more than the required time, uh, then that this algorithm is not a good algorithm, lah. Okay. So um, user-friendly software tools, um, since the core, fun core, uh, the core of the multimedia is to integrate uh, between different multi-mediums uh, and also enrich or engage the senses of human being. Uh, so user-friendly software is very important. If you have a very good system, but uh, it is totally not user-friendly, uh, basically it's not public, uh, not, not popular, not public, not popular, uh, okay. Uh, this is especially can be observed in some of the algorithm, especially for JPEG. Okay, because JPEG is something very, very common. Uh, I think everyone knows JPEG. Uh, okay, but uh, there are some some extent file extension is better. But then uh, the file extension, those file extension, in fact, is not offered or not under the list of consideration by the computer manufacturer. Uh, why is because it is not so common. So people will not use that. Uh, extensions um, except for a specific uh, reason uh, okay for example some some file uh, may require special software to open so uh, all those files may be a bit different uh, okay based on the application as well so justify the justify which typeface is of text is suitable to be used for presentation on screen uh, give an example of fonts for for this typeface although 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 uh, the question eight uh, qs q is uh you can find the answer in the lecture notes uh, but i hope you all don't i mean uh, because like you know say so so i select solo but in fact you uh, don't agree or don't understand why uh, uh there would be a reason over there like, for example what we learned just now rgb is usually used in digital monitor and the CMY is usually used in printing industry. Uh, don't just simply uh, memorize. Yes, you can score in your exam, but actually you don't, I mean, I hope you all can understand the, uh, the reason why RGB is better, why sometimes uh, uh, HSI is better and so on, okay? So let me check. Uh, Mei Lin Ong. May. Uh, question eight. You want to share screen or put it in the chat box? 
typeface sans serif type. Uh, this one is very simple and direct. Okay, the sans serif text is clean, simple, and project uh, rationality and objectivity, uh, which is suitable to be used uh, for presentation on screen. Thank you for your answer. And the uh, uh, example would be Arial, Vedana, Helvetica, Tahoma, yeah, all this. Lah. Okay, uh, due to the low resolution of computer screen, a serif font are difficult to read and sans serif. So, um, if let's say uh, it requires uh, actually, it, 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 this question also asks uh, justify which uh, uh, when you have the word justify. Uh, uh, justify consists of two different meanings. The first one is to state. The second is to explain. So when we combine state and explain, so it become justify. Okay, because justify is always give reason. Uh. So um, yeah, it's correct to put uh, the sense serif, but later on you need to answer uh, why sense serif is suitable. So this one you need to relate to the uh, computer screen, you know, low resolutions and etc. And uh, give example is just quite simple, lah, straight and direct. Okay, number nine. Compare the advantage of compare the advantage and disadvantage between bitmap and vector graphic. Bitmap vector graphic. This is quite simple also, like Ernest. Okay. Okay, good. Um bitman graphic advantage, disadvantage. Okay. Like the oh, okay. Advantage pro produce real quality image. Real quality image. What is meant by real quality image? Huh? Capable of storing large amount of information. Um, disadvantage and large of image brief will produce a blur. Okay, more intensive. The higher the resolution, all right. Advantage capable to perform compression and rescale without scattered. Okay. Not the same and okay. Not suitable for compact. Okay. Complex graphic display. Yeah. Not suitable. Mm, all right. We bring a small arrow. And much. Oh, okay. Okay. okay um, thank you. But I, I, I may need your, you to justify what is produced real quality image. Not so understand. Um, can you explain further? Mm, okay, okay. Mm. Perhaps uh, I understand what you want to ex ex express. Uh, that's all right. Okay. Uh, I understand what you want to explain. Just that um, real quality uh, because real quality is a bit wack uh, to me. Uh, in engineering, we prefer we prefer we prefer something which is uh more specific lah. Okay. Uh, real quality because sometimes uh, when you have a very bad answer um, it's contracting for me to give you or not to give you the uh, uh, marks uh, okay um, but anyhow overall is okay lah. looks good to me okay so thank you for your answer I may need the screen Okay, uh, bitmap, uh, basically the main difference between bitmap and also the vector would be the bitmap uh, can be 
can be used for image processing purposes. Okay, but vector uh, seldom, very seldom do you use to process it because it is represented by using mathematical equations. And also the another on the other on the another hand, uh, for vector Im image, uh, it is um, better for uh, in, because when you enlarge the vector image, uh, the quality remains the same because it is defined by the mathematical equations. Okay, so uh, for bitmap composed of pixel. The uh, advantage, uh, the color of every pixel of bitmap is allowed to change. So basically, you can have full control of the bitmap image. Uh, what I mean, mean by full control is that you can alter the pixel, you can manipulate the pixel, uh, you can enhance the uh, uh, overall contrast, uh, depth, I mean resolution and etc. Resize and etc. So you have you can have uh, full control, and it is quite. Uh, flexible and handy to uh, image processing software. Okay, but disadvantage would be the uh, the bitmap graphic files are larger than vector. Line. That is because you need to uh, as what uh, the answer given. Uh, you may need to you may need to store. I mean, when you have more and more pixel, I mean higher and higher resolutions. So perhaps you may want to uh, your file size will be increasing. Uh, okay, that is uh, simple and direct. And vector graphic can resize and rotate the graphic without distortion. So this would be the main uh, advantage of the vector uh, graphic. That is why people uh, always use vector graphic in technical paper, uh, in poster, and etc. Because uh, in the paper, I mean technical paper during production uh, phase, uh, people will uh, tend to drag, I mean enlarge or scale, scale up or scale down your figure, um, your graphics. So if you give, if you provide the, if you provide the images in bitmap, perhaps after the productions, I mean, reorganize your technical paper, the uh, figure would looks blur a bit, like, especially when she or she uh, upsize or scaled up your uh, your image, like, Okay, so I, I would prefer uh, to convert it. Uh, of course, you process everything in bitmap, but later on convert the bitmap image into vector image. But sometimes when you have, when you, I mean, especially during image processing, uh, when you want to um, cluster something else, uh, cluster something else, and it is in great detail, sir, uh, when you convert the bitmap image into vector image, uh, the entire image will be corrupt. What I mean by corrupt is that uh, the image loses its meaning. Uh, especially during the age, uh, um, how should I put this? Uh? Uh, especially when you want to characterize, I mean, convert maybe a, you segment a cell because the cell is already very small and it is one small part of the entire image. Uh. So when you segment the only cell and then you uh, convert the cell into the uh, vector form, maybe the entire image will become blurred out. I mean, what I mean by blur out is that uh, the pixel is totally replaced by another color, another intensity. So the entire image loses its meaning. So sometimes it's, you have to be very careful. You cannot uh, simply just convert everything to vector without considering, I mean, without re recheck the image, is it okay? Okay, so um, that is a props and cons for vector. Lah. Okay. For uh, smaller file size, because the graphics are stored as a set of instructions, therefore the file size can be significantly smaller than bitmap. Uh, the instruction will be sort of equations. Uh, so uh, like y equals to mx plus c. So whenever you put in the value of uh, m, you put in uh, uh, the value of y, then you can calculate the x value. So this would be so-called the instruction. Uh, okay, uh, and they only need to store the instructions and don't need to uh, store the pixel by information pixel by pixel as per the bitmap. That is why the file size is always smaller. So uh, disadvantage would be the file size get larger when the graphic get complex and they take longer time to appear on screen because uh, it's involved mathematical equation and also set of instruction over there. So whenever you want to, you duplicate the, uh, a vector image and it is very, very complex image. So it requires time to process it and you will you will feel a delay over there. Okay, cannot display photorealistic uh, quality and the quality of the image is lower. Okay, I think what you mean is uh, this one that uh, cannot display uh, photorealistic quality. 
um, because uh, the feeling of the white image uh, is somehow um, like a smoothened image, you know, uh, the image with filter. So uh, sometimes you would feel like the image is being filtered uh, with some, some other mean or medium filter. So it would a little bit um, like being processed. Lah. So that would be a lot lost some photorealistic um, identity over there. Okay, then yeah, that, that would be the disadvantage for vector graphic. Okay, so um, I think that's all for today. We will continue the next two questions uh, during next tutorial. Um, any question before we end? No, uh, okay. So if none, uh, so that's all for today. Lah. Thank you so much.